Hello and welcome to the series of topics on Salesforce. Uh, in this session, we will be discussing on the uh, activity management. Activity essentially means there are two sets of uh, objects that you are going to create in, inside the um, Salesforce application. One is the task, and other one is the event. The task is uh, can be set for uh, created for the sales rep for himself or for other uh, team members. Uh, similar, if he is a sales manager, and um, the difference between the task and events is that the task has certain due dates before which it it can be uh, reminded to the particular sales representative to complete the task, or um, and events will be for created for the meetings or the events that that are scheduled for a period of time in the organizations. Um, let us start creating the new task of under um, accounts. So it can be for any entity if you want to track the list of tasks or events for of accounts or opportunities or any other um, Salesforce objects. So um, the subject of the task when I start creating a new task will be auto populated. I can select a predefined uh, subject for the task and select a due date which is not a required field though but if you it's always recommended that you have certain due date for the task that you are going to create. The status as and when the uh, task gets progressed to the next status you can update the status after coming back to the tasks uh, and update the field value name the contact name can be updated or selected over here and the account also can be selected so another important thing is that the priority which needs to be determined whether high the normal or a low priority for this task can be filled. You can provide a description in the comments field. You can also create um, a recurring, recurring event and provide the, if you click on recurrence you can select the um, reminder for the series of tasks that you have as a daily, weekly, monthly or yearly basis and if it's every day or every weekday those kind of uh, settings can be enabled along with the start and end date. Okay. You can also set reminders um, to occur whether it is a one week before or two days before depending on your requirement you can set the reminder. Finally you can attach some files required for this task like as in you can send the letter, the letter document can be attached to work here as well. So that's how you can create the task. Similarly, you can create an event. So the way you can create an event is you have to go to activities and click on new event over here. It's the same way, similar to task, only the difference is you have a one-time event that will occur and go and there will be no um, not much of you need to follow on beyond the, the period that has been specified over here so we can select the subject again similarly and also set, select the location of the meeting whether it is on phone or whether, whether it is on webinar uh, or it's a web based meeting or or video conferencing whatever the mode of meeting you can specify over here and then contact you can add the invitees to the event you can have multiple invitees added as well so you can say add the invitees click on add the invitees and in this case I have only one you can select the invitees provide a description of the event have the recurrence of the events as well if you want to do schedule event every week or every month 
by click clicking on the checkbox over here if it's a yearly event and you can add the attachment and the events who are going to be added will be provided over here so we can add the add to invitees so the invitees will be added over here so i can put some date as maximum date save so that's how i can create an event and a task so what we what we did was we created a task to create we saw how we can create an uh, event and the difference between the task and events hope this topic was interesting and informative to you we should soon meet for the next series of topics thanks for joining